Well, good morning. Welcome uh, to this uh, week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Uh, today it's a small group, but an important topic. So uh, wishing everyone a happy new year uh, today as well. So uh, hopefully your uh, celebrations are scheduled and well in order. Uh, today's topic is uh, a new feature in SAP Business One, uh, multiple branches, which will be released with uh, version 9.1. Um, before we go into looking at some of this new stuff that we've got in this particular uh, new branches functionality, um, in case you have not heard, this version that we're looking at today, version 9.1, is now in general release all new customers would most likely be deployed on 9.1 and existing customers can schedule to upgrade to version 9.1 to take advantage of the new features. Um, I re um, would recommend that you wait until at least 1.15, 2015. Uh, that's 30 days after the general release has occurred or um, better yet till the next patch is actually uh, published. Uh, then we know that all of the initial problems with this early release have been vetted out by uh, the early adopters, and you would be in a much more safe and risk-free environment should you upgrade at that time. Our agenda for today is to take a look at uh, this set of things about the uh, new features in uh, branches, uh, multiple branches in SAP Business One 9.1. And so... Um, I'm going to uh, jump out of here at this point and uh, that over there and go to business one. Here we are. But uh, there are settings that are very important to initializing the uh, uh, multiple branches capability in the application. Um, and so we're going to visit some of those uh, under administration, system initialization, and company details. Uh, you have to have enabled um, a couple of key things. Um, one is, if I remember which tab it is on, uh, manage inventory by warehouse.